Hey everyone, thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy with My Favorite Groomer on YouTube. All right, this is a long time client. I have been grooming this family's dogs for many, many years, uh, since at least 2007. And this is Rocky and we always do a shave down. He comes in every three to four months. And he is an older guy. Uh, let me see how old he was when I first started with him. Oh, I don't have the age written down. Hey, baby. Hi. You, know, you wagging your tail. You wagging your tail. You never trust him. And mom did a video with me last time. I didn't post it. She got a little worried about the channel, but he's such a good boy. Um, we're going to shave him down. They said, uh, please leave the tail this time, which has been a new request, but we're going to leave the tail. Uh, I usually do a seven all over down. So I'm gonna actually uh, just go a 10 down, seven reverse. So I'm gonna do 10 down, and then if I feel like I wanna just t tighten it up with the seven reverse, I'll do that. I take the head pretty short, and I don't see them for a while. It gets pretty fluffy, you know? So here we go. And the history is with this guy, he's jumped off the table a few times, and mom has been, mom knows and I know, this needs to be tight. So as, as uh, some of you consumers don't think that that's right, this keeps him on the table. Um, he has some, I, I didn't, I like, uh, it's hard to learn. You like, you learn things as you work. So having a loose collar here, a loose uh, loop is kind of dangerous. So there's a reason it's tight. It's not choking him. It's loose here, but if he's going to try to jump, um, hopefully it gives me a couple seconds of j reaction time. He has bit it a few times, so. Uh, it, it makes it a very nervous situation and I have it d written down he is a jumper I try not to leave him even a second alone on the table now but that's I've learned th through the years um, trying to give them leeway so no leeway there's a reason why we keep the le groom loops on and it's very important okay here we go I'm got my t I'm doing a 10 down Make sure you guys can see some of the stuff we're doing here. We'll do this. I'm gonna start here by the groom loop and then I'll come and fix it up later.
No, no, baby. Just kind of, um, he's just older, and uh, he's, this is just too sensitive for an area. Uh, I've never really seen him kind of do that with his neck, but see if I just come in here, it's just kind of like a nerve thing. So as dogs get older, things just change a little bit, so that's probably what that is. You kind of see that his reaction was kind of like, Ur. sensitivity maybe such a tough area right there. Kind of see the underarm right there, just from the back, you kind of can see it. I'm gonna do these back, uh, this back area like this, these legs. Still pretty choppy, that means the coat's kind of dirty, obviously, so that'll come up later and then we'll redo it after the bath. You so happy? Are you happy? You get up in your grill here. You're fine. You're fine. Come here. Let me see. Let me, let me see. Come here. Let me see. Let me come down the shoulder right here. Oh, it's that nerve right there. Look, watch. Yeah, it's that nerve right there. Let me see. Look over here. No, look over here. You're okay. Let me see. Look over here. Look over here. Look over here. Real light on that back area, just kind of fade, uh, which means I'm not digging too hard. Uh, it's, so you could do that or just come back with scissors, but you know, if I, if I can know how to do it like this with a tin, it's so easy not to come back with scissors later. Don't trust him here. Learn stuff the hard way, so got that ni nice and tight. He's looking away, which is a passive aggressive. <laughs> come here, look this way. Come on. Let me see. Come here lightly with your tin, just creating a line there, because I mean, if you're gonna go this short, it's real hard to get a real nice rounded head here. I know, what is that? What is that? And since he's doing that squat I love to talk about, I kind of can see where some hair is here. I'm just gonna kind of real lightly get that out of there. 
What do you guys think so far? It looks good. Let me get a close up here. Hey, look at your faces. Yes, it is. Look at you. Look at this sticky out. Yeah. Let's take care of this in the tip. Okay, good. I'm going to come back with the 40 now. Do the pads and stuff like that. You see here? Kind of just do a little edge up on that. That I don't know what I'm trying to say when I'm going there. That little pad of the top pad. Just do a little edge up underneath. And have them stand. Do all the feet. do the nails and then I'm going to trim the top of the feet. Nails first, then trim the top of the feet. So you can get that top hair as far back as you can without the, with the, the nails are in the way, you know, you got it down shorter. Brush these up. Let me see your foot here. Doesn't have to be perfect, but get your, what you can now. So we can do less after the bath. Brush that up. brush this tail out even though we're going to leave it longer today. I'm going to see what the edges up, edge up looks like if I want to even touch it at all. And I can tell the weather's changing. We're in October, so I've got some serious um, static. Just barely shaping that because we're leaving it long. And I like it right out of the poop area. If you don't know about watching for the poop area, go watch the dog poop. I'm serious. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna come back here later. But if you have dryness, uh, I do this leave-in conditioner stuff. Spray it like on your hand and put it on your arms and yourself. Or if you're working with the dog and there's lots of static, uh, spray it on yourself. <laughs> Okay, can't take that right now. So we are going to, um, I'm going to, he doesn't, I don't blow, blow dry his head all the way. So I'm going to double check kind of the roundness here. And uh, fix anything minor, you know. I think that looks really good already. So probably going to leave it just like Wow, 
wash that butt real good back there. comb if you need to. Don't turn around, turn that way. this will be the time to go um, sweep off your table. Dry him a little tiny bit. Oh. Now we'll dry, towel dry him. You want to do your best to uh, gather as much water off the coat as you can. Good boy. Give me this paw too. Let me see. Are you holding your hook in my hand? Are you hooking my hand? Huh? Okay, turn around. Let me get over over here. Turn around. Oh, there you go. Good boy. Hold on, stand. Keep moving your towel around to you so you can have the dry areas on your fingertips. If you have a dog up stand, you can also use it in the tub here. Stay, stay. Squeeze and dry that. If you want to use a leave-in conditioner, this is the time to apply it.
I know he hates his face blow dried, so I'm gonna probably skip a little bit of that, but here we go. Use your protective eye gear. Okay, you can kind of see the movement. I uh, don't push it, get what you can dry, and then just keep going. So we're gonna move the camera first. We're gonna go back to the table here, and hopefully wrap it up in about 10 minutes. I'm a real stickler also with the electricity, so when you leave a room, turn the electricity off. We kind of do that back and forth all the time. Okay, I'm gonna brush this all forward so that in this, some areas are a little tiny bit damp. And I'm cool, it doesn't, it doesn't harm your uh, clippers as much as you all think, so even if it's damp, I still get the, still go over it with the blade. So brush it all forward so you can really get as much of the of an evenness as you can in one swipe. And to this day, I still look at my clippers to make sure I know what blade's on there because I had one mistake in the first three months of grooming where I didn't realize I still had my 40 on there. So I always glance at the blade even now. So I had my 40 on there. I flipped it out to put the 10 back on. We're going back 10 down here. He's got some old man moles coming in. Sometimes if you just touch them, they bleed. So those are normal at old age. You can't memorize them, but you can just start doing less pressure as you groom. And that way, if you if you run over one, not, not nicking it, but if you just run over it, it won't start bleeding so fast. You get it, you're able to react and kind of pull off. Fade the tail here. That looks good. You can kind of see how it's kind of faded there rather than like a blunt line. There's a bump right here as well. That's a new thing. Just make some notes to the chart so you can kind of remember that next time around.
sorry. I'm kind of just stretching that skin there. He's got a sensitive nerve here over here somewhere. Gotcha. Come on, sit. Find the sun. Pick it up. this way. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> <I'm here. laughs> Look this way. Going straight up with it. Look this way. Come on. Nothing's over there. Once it dries, it'll look a little different because of the age, you know, and he didn't like it, so we didn't do the, too, didn't do the face too much. Come back, tidy up some of these feet that I can see, some of the hairs hanging around. Barely a little bit there, some unevenness, or a little hair just sticking out. Watch your ears here. Any flurries just really out there. Take those out. Very lightly, just creating that roundness to it. Just lightly. Behind the ears a little bit. Some fuzz here. Looks like some hairs coming out of there, so I'm gonna actually do a little bit of de-shed in there. Come in here just a 
just a little bit with my Ferminator, pull some of that dead hair out. part just these shutting some of this face try to get every single hair through there you know so draw yourself a line so you know where you started not just an overhaul of brushing just draw a line and pull down and pull down and pull down more hair into the brush in general here. Much tighter, much cleaner. There we go. Oh yeah, that needed it. Come up back and brush the tail here. Stand up for me. I'm actually going to run the firmator just a little bit over the body here. Real lightly, don't dig too hard. Okay, and right now we are using some apple pie a la mode. If you want some, let me know. Cologne. Since pet parent is outside, I'm gonna do this, put this on. And also, um, There's something else we're going to do. Clean his ears. Got some gunky stuff in there, so I'm gonna go ahead and flush the ears right now. I'm gonna clean twice with a Q-tip, forward and backwards in there, and around some of these lips underneath. I'll come forward here. This one's pretty dirty. I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of ear flush in there. Pour from up high so you don't suck it back up in the bottle. <laughs> so cute. All right, thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy. I appreciate y'all and have a good day. Gosh, look at that. What are you doing?